Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 14 of Spy Classrooms. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. Only help. Tom. Sounds a little fishy about that, but how can you know if that's actually your kid? Poor baby. Right. Say it again. Yeah. Say it again. We need some mother effing proof.
tomorrow or birthday or something. Baby, Erina is just getting the <laughs> the short end of the stick, just like when she voices Chino. <laughs> it is the order of Robin with Coco. Oh my god! Oh, I Just in case something happens. Yes. What's wrong?
Easy peasy. Jack collectors. Oh, damn. Yeah, but you want to take her back when you have all this freaking debt? That's probably the only thing she remembers. It's the pretty hair. You're just mad at the pretty hair. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do? Right? Maybe I know should be a normal girl. Seriously?
Excuse me. Uh. I got her back. Yeah, you know, we can't really talk about the things that we did. Had to be. What's up?
This makes you wonder, will she ever really truly have a normal relationship with her mom again? And possibly get her memories back? No. So my thing is, why didn't she give her her passport, though? Right? That is weird. Oh. Does that mean we have to... Her? Oh, Monica, I, I like her. Not because she voiced by Abu Yuki, but I just like her and stuff. She cool, but so, you know, some of the things she be doing about me, like, bitch, 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 I swear to God, you and your shit. Like, mm -mm. no, my own. No. I don't know. Like, she, she's still one that I cannot trust, even though, yeah, you gotta show that I have three freaking pretty cares up in here. And you're supposed to trust the pretty cures because they're all good characters and such. Um, but the only one that I can trust out of the three is Irida. Like, Thea, I, I love her. She's literally best girl. But uh, there are times, especially with the way the first half ended, I'm still skeptical of her. Because it feels like both her and Monica are betrayers. And they're... Just waiting until the right time to just betray everybody. Who really knows? Because we don't really know what is true or what is what's fake. Ugh. But I feel bad for Anato because if that is really her mom, like her mom's a spy, and it's either we kill her or you hand her over to the military, and the military might end up killing her. So it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. And you also feel bad for her, her mom, because yeah, like she ha she has her daughter back, but no no memories. Like that is the worst thing for her because it's like, damn, she's not gonna be able to have like any more like, oh, remember when this happened or remember when that happened and such? Because no, Aneto's never really gonna remember that. And that truly sucks for her. And so you do kind of hope secretly that one day Aneto is able to regain, regain her memories back, at least before the show ends. But I feel like at the same time, no, that's never really going to be possible and such. Um, but who knows? I mean, mm. Uh, I just hate the fact that Monica had to tell Klaus. I get that, but it, she had no other choice, really. Once she found out that Monica, I mean, um, Matilda's name wasn't really Matilda, then of course, yeah, she has all the right to like literally search the information that she did, um, and finding out that she's a spy and handing that information to their teacher, but like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the family was already ruined and we're ruining it even more. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, this episode was really good. I mean, once again, to see these four, you know, truly work together. Monica and Thea's, you know, bickering moments between each other. Aneto's and Irina's just <laughs> moments, <laughs> you know, bullying Irina. Even though Irina is like, I don't really like when she bullies me. Such. So I feel like, yes, even though she still cares for an adult, uh, like, Erna is like, mm, I just tolerate you and such. I do care for you, but I still tolerate you. So I feel like we're going to probably see more moments where Erna is going to possibly hang out with Monica and Thea, maybe. But I think we're still going to get the Aneto and Erna moments as well. <laughs> of Erna getting bullied. But the, like I said, that is, that's just Chino getting bullied by Cocoa. <laughs> 
even though even though Kogua is on um freaking Lily's team, <laughs> so they don't get to have bullying moments with each other. But you feel bad. We're like, oh damn! Remember when you got bullied? <laughs> it's the order to ro by a rabbit because boy, Kogua was bothering the crap out of Chino, and Chino is like, please leave me alone. And that is exactly what this is with these two characters, because Erina is like, please, for the love of Christ. <laughs> Anna, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be around you, even though she secretly is like, I, I don't like you, but I like being around you, though. It's just cute. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 14 of Spy Classroom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Until much squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for episode 15. Bye, guys.